Hey y'all, I had got a full review today. Hey y'all. Hey y'all, I have a full view today for my subscribers. Comment, like, click, share, and subscribe to Kendra's Dirty Laundry. To Kendra's Dirty Laundry. Yay! Welcome all, welcome all. Today I decided to um to get is get some African food. Peanuts, um, stew, I mean soup, rather. Uh, I'm going to show y'all how it looks, too. Okay? We're going to taste this today. I should have did it earlier, but I was on the phone. You know how that goes when you're on the phone. Okay, y'all? Look. Oh, jeez. I should have put it I need a little table. So when I do my vlogging, y'all be like, oh, my goodness, she got a table and everything. Look, y'all. I'll show y'all what I got. Oh, gosh. Because y'all have to excuse my cat. She's been in heat for like 10 years almost. See? Look. Y'all see this? Look. I don't want to spill it, so look. Okay. Uh, lamb soup. They didn't make it... Sp Sorry, y'all. Lamb soup. They didn't make it spicy. I told her, don't make it spicy. I don't know who told them to give me white rice, and I got some beignets. Yay! I love some beignets. The Africans don't make the beignets like the uh, the French do. Their beignets are much bigger. The um from Louisiana, the beignets. These this one has coconut. These have coconut in them. I don't know why they didn't give me some kind of like powder or something like that to go along with it. So let's see, y'all. Let's say, let's say, let's say. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just pray that it's not spicy. Y'all gonna have to excuse me if y'all hear this. If y'all hear stuff, music and stuff outside, y'all gonna have to um, excuse these people. Because they think that, that that shit sounds normal. Yep. I'm gonna taste one of these, y'all. This is palm oil, too, in case y'all was wondering what kind of oil is this. Mm-hmm. Potato. Okay, y'all. They didn't make it spicy. Sweet potato. Look. The red stuff is the palm oil. I got this from the African restaurant. Mm-hmm. I'm good. Not too spicy. But maybe I better not say it too soon, y'all. Because y'all know how that goes. Lamb. My vision. Ah. Did you get a tan? Look, y'all. Nobody told them to give me any white rice, but I don't like white rice. I can tell them to give me some wild rice. No, I ain't for wild rice, though, y'all. I should have done a story time, y'all. At the neighbor. Left my ass out there simmering. Told her I was coming back. In case y'all was wondering why y'all didn't get an upload yesterday. So I was coming back, all right? No answering, no fuck, no uh, door. I'm banging on the door, banging on the, on the door, banging on the door. No answer. She had went up there. She gave me the key. I'm thinking that it was gonna work. I winded up like, you know what? Let me start this, this story time off from the beginning. It's muck banging story time. So um, what I did was, I went out to the store, right, y'all? Now, hear this, y'all. Hear this real good. I went out to the store. And then after I went out to the store, I came back from the store. Um, 
realized while I was on my way to the store, I didn't have my, my fucking key. So, um, I winded up, um, standing, standing out there. Saturday, I went to my neighbor's house. Um, I'm going to give that story as well, but, um, you know what? Never mind. I'll give, I'll give two talk, story times while a mukbang and story time. That's what we'll call this one. Okay. Um, so I winded up standing outside and then my neighbor invites me in his house. Keyword invite. So I get over there. I stays there until Sunday. All right. Fucking man tells me nasty fucking pig talking about um oh um yeah I got a bed I was like okay he says um uh and I got a bed so he said I got a bed I was like okay he's just trying to give me some little hint or some bullshit or like that bullshitting story or something like that and I was like okay and then he says um come come. You, you're a woman, so you should be out in the street. I'm like, all right, and? So the next thing, you know, I, you know, I decided to go to his house, right? Um, so, okay. So, bam, I'm in the house, right? Um, one of the, one of the people that live in the house, because, you know, a whole bunch of Africans live together. No, no disrespect to Af Africans, because I love Africans. Um, so... One of them make me up a bed, right? Uh, right? So, so then bam, I get up in the bed, right? Uh, um, so I stay there all the way until the, to the morning. Okay? But after that, I'm going to talk to you at the same time. Um, so after that, um, I stay there until the morning time. He's getting ready on a Sunday to proceed to go in his room after he takes a shower, get ready because he has to get ready for work. So then he'll go in his room one last time. He got down. He says, "Look at it." I'm like, I'm looking. I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. Who the fuck is the matter with you? So and then he got back yesterday, right, from the work. So um. He starts carrying on. Oh, no, no, oh, no. No, you can't stay here until no, no, uh, two and three days. And so I was like, okay, so, um, I'm sorry for out, 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 um, out, um, out doing my welcome. Or whatever you call that damn phrase that people use. Um, so I got my shit and I bounced up out of that bitch. Um. Yesterday, I was in the hallway, right? Um. Oh, you know what? Wait a minute. And then I got the other story time as well. Let me do it in order. Hold on. Let me do this again. So, um, and then after that, so I go, I goes back to the hallway. Before I, we do anything, any of that, y'all gotta have excuse me. You know, y'all know I got ADHD. Please bear with me, please. Can y'all give a sister a break? Cut his sister some slack. Anyways, so let me go back to the other part. So I didn't have my key, right? Um, my neighbor gives me the key. Um, I'ma just call her um neighbor one. The neighbor one gives me the key. I'm looking and I'm like, I hope this shit is working. Goes up there, knocking on the door, knocking on the door, knocking on the door. As usual, you know, this, this broad is always sick. She's stay being sick. Um, so I says, um, can I get the key? Hey, you, you get, you, I gave you back the key. I get, no, you didn't give me back any key. 
So, and from there, then she says, um, oh, you lucky that that was the right key. You lucky that you had the key here. Like she was doing me some big ass fucking favor or something like this. This is the neighbor that always snitches on me and tells on me. The one that's always calling me her friend. But in reality, she just needs to get with the program because I'm not her friend. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm going off topic again. I'm sorry. So, I'll get the key. I tried to open up the door. I tried to open up the door. I couldn't open the door. I couldn't proceed proceed to open up this door. Because I had the wrong key. Um. So then after that, um. I goes up there and I'm knocking on the door, knocking on the door for about a, about a good five minutes straight. I'm like, okay. So you know what I'm gonna do? So I, I'm gonna get that ass back. Like when she out of, when she locked out anything of hers. I'm like, oh, you can't stay here because I got to go somewhere. So you can't stay in my house. So then I'm going to do the, the same thing. Treat people the way you want to be treated. You treat me fucked up, I'm going to treat you fucked up. And she knows that's not right. And then she claims that she didn't hear me on top of the shit. And I'm like, okay. So I'm going so to get that ass real good. She calling me, acting like she my friend and stuff today. I'm like, boy, mind you, I forgot to tell y'all. This is not the first time she's done this. She had my, she locked my ass out of the house. Um, I had to run, I had to run the streets at like two in the damn morning, like some whole, whole fucking crackhead or homeless person. Two in the damn morning, you heard? So then after that, um, after I come from out of her house, right? Uh, the key wasn't working, so I go back up there and I told her, oh. I wanted to tell her the key wasn't working, but she ain't want to answer the goddamn door. I said, okay. So now I know. From now on, see, this is why I keep on telling myself I have to stop this shit. I always deal with people that's always calling me a friend or something like that. But if you were my damn friend, there's no way that you would let me slip in no goddamn hallway. Yesterday. Um, so, next thing I know, so let me, uh, let me tell you about the other part. I come downstairs, and then I'm trying to open the door, trying to open up the door, trying to open up the door. I couldn't open the, open up the door. And then I guess when I, one of my little African, my little African neighbors, let's call him African neighbor number two. Um, so I go, I go to his house, right? Ooh, that nasty ass motherfucker! I had the nerve to say when I was sitting down on the uh, on the on the staircase in the in the hallway. He says, oh, you going to give me, you going to give me some? Hmm? 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 I'm like, I'm like, no, you better get out of here with your goddamn fresh ass. And then the next damn morning, he proceeds to do the same damn thing. I don't know, what the fuck is this? What the fuck am I, some whore or something like that? At the end of the day, if we stand for, if we do, if we stand for one thing, we'll stand for more. I always, always y'all, my subscribe, my lovely loyal subscribers, respect yourself. At the end of the damn day. I don't care what anybody does. Always respect yourself. So and then. After that. um, I lays down. I gets up in the morning. Uh, African neighbor num number one. He. um, I mean number two. No number three I'm going to say. Because they got like. You know them Africans got like. 20 people to the goddamn apartment. In that damn room, in that damn whole damn apartment, ain't nobody contributing or nothing in that bitch. Everybody just basically lives off of each other. You know that's how that's how a lot of them do. I'm starting to notice. How do I know? It's because one day my neighbor, my African neighbor number one, came over, knocked on my and knocked on my door. I was like, "What's this about?" I looked at his whole fucking bill. He paying half the fucking bill, but the majority of goddamn bill by himself. I don't know if you ask me. I don't really think they, they, um, they gathered together to pay them bills and shit for him. I think him and maybe, um, his name, maybe his, um, roomie or something like that. I think maybe he might contribute some, sh some money or something to stay there. I don't know how that shit goes, but all I know is that all them damn people sitting up in that damn house, the people, the, and the young ones, because they have them little young ass African men over there. They, I guess they take their damn little money and probably send it back over there to their, to where they live at. Half of them from Senegal and all of that shit. Probably Madagascar and all of that shit. I mean, trust me, there's more than enough 
old people over there. How it takes a village to raise a family. They literally go buy that shit. And then the next day of morning, which was yesterday morning, man, y'all talking about them African people feeding people? They don't let you go hungry for shit. He gave me some beans. Um, a little, they were a little bit burnt though at the bottom. Because that old nasty ass motherfucker that I was telling y'all about. He's so busy making fucking passes at me. Black ass couldn't even pay his fucking attention to his goddamn phone food. Um, so and then after that, um, yeah, so he fed me and shit like that. He gave me some dates. He gave me some water. Um, he gave me some beans that were a little bit black at the bottom, but I ate them bitches anyway. I had a banana. I had some bread. He's eating his food. He get to sopping that damn food up with that damn um bread. He do like this, y'all. Okay, say this is the soup, right? This is the food right here, right, y'all? He take the bread, he dip it, and he go, and then like that, and he eats just like that. He said that they that's how they eat though in in um Africa. I was like, oh okay, because he didn't ask for a fork. I noticed, and then he was telling me this some, about some African tea. I asked the uh the neighbor. His roomie, I says, um, so, he says, you want to try? I'm like, hell no. He says, because if I drink that damn tea, my ass ain't, it's going to be lit. Meaning, I ain't going to sleep. I ain't doing shit. I'm just going to be lit. And we don't want to be litty. We want to go to sleep over here. You know? Um, so, and then after that, um, so then, um, so in the morning time, when I woke up, that's what we had for breakfast on Friday. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you, onions, too. Cut up onions and put it in the pan and fry it. They use corn oil, I forgot to tell y'all. They don't use that good-ass oil. Either corn oil or palm oil. That's what the Africans main, mainly use to fry their foods and shit like that. That shit was good, though. But his roommate, I thank him. I have to thank him from the bottom of my heart for letting me stay there. But we need to have better communication. If you ain't want me staying there... For a second day, that's all you had to tell me. You say you could stay for one day, and then that's it. But my ass is all fucking happy and shit like that. I was kind of fucking, I felt out of place, though. Socially awkward, y'all know what I mean? Because y'all got to remember, a lot of um, the Africans that I was staying with, um, a lot of them don't understand English. So it's like, I felt like really socially awkward while I was there. Um... And then after that, um, the heat coming yesterday, I'm stomping in there. Ooh, your brother ain't call you yet. I was like, no. He says, um, man, you can't have the only one, one day. You can't stay here two and three days. Uh uh, no, 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 that's out. I'm not making my ass fucking feel bad and shit like that. So I got my shit and I bounced. So I got my pair of shit and I bounced and then I sat up in the hallway. I thank you for uh for letting me stay and then I hauled ass and I sat down on the fucking steps. My ass was there all the way until the goddamn one in time. And then um my neighbor, neighbor number um number one that is. Not neighbor number two, num- neighbor number one. The one that has a fucking big ass mouth that I, it's like I don't I feel like I can't learn my lesson. I don't know what it's gonna take for me to realize that, that woman is not my friend. I mean it's gonna probably take me like like a whole damn ten years to realize she's not a friend. But anyways, um So I left out of there and then this morning I see her. I did the same shit that she she did. I'm knocking on the fucking door. She not answering me. And so, um, and she just decides to an- ask me today, Oh, why you gonna ask me when I was asking you a question, Miss Thomas? Because I didn't hear you, that's why. I was sleeping. Yeah, but how are you saying that when you was when you was um sleeping? Same damn reason as to why you said, "Oh, I can't hear the fucking door." Mind you, our apartments are shaped the same fucking way. Everything is an excuse for her, and she's a fucking fantastic goddamn liar. I got to the point where I got so damn sick of her that if I have an event or something like that, I'm not inviting her. We're not doing this. You listen. I'm gonna tell you once and once only, you are not my friend. Not gonna be your friend, but I don't see you the way you the way you see me. Because first of all, you lie too goddamn much, and the fucking lies gotta stop. 
wish come out with all these fucking lies from it. But they're getting out of here and they're getting fucking ridiculous. And y'all know how that goes. And I know y'all have people that, um, that y'all say, that, um, y'all say, uh, and y'all friends. But then in reality, when you look at it, they do a stupid shit. But then I guess you figure, well, that's just them. And then you don't find out until, like, the end of 10 years or 15 years or some shit like that, like, like I did, that they're not really a friend. They want to be a friend, your friend only when it's convenient for them. Other than that, they're not really a friend. And please leave a comment down below if you have people like that. Because I, I can't do it anymore. I seriously digress. This is not the first time she did this shit to me. This is the third time she did this to me. Only thing is that she knew I was at that door. I told her, I said, I was coming back. How come you didn't answer the door? Oh, you know how them neighbors are in, my, in the other apartment. They're making all this noise and I didn't hear you. No, you heard me. You just didn't want to answer the door. All you had to say was, I don't feel like answering the door and that's it. And I couldn't understand. What the fuck is all the motherfucking lying about? I mean, come on now. Just be truthful. It, it, don't, it, it don't cost nothing to be truthful. And I know all y'all can agree with me. Just fucking lie. I mean, one fucking excuse out. One fucking lie after another. It just takes so much goddamn energy to lie. For the damn time that you lie, you can just be truthful. It's not hard. But not her. Huh? She's like a whole fucking another opposite of what I'm talking about, y'all. Whereas, if somebody was knocking on my door... And I didn't hear it. I would have told him I didn't hear it. But then, um, I wouldn't be lying talking about, oh, I didn't hear you. No, she heard me. She ain't want to, you know what it is? She don't like me sitting in her house. That's what it is. She don't never like me to sit in her house. She only like me to sit in her house only when it's convenient for her. Like when she want to fucking sit down and gossip 99% of the goddamn time. All that damn time you... You gossiping the shit. You need to be sitting down washing your ass and everything. You know? I mean, seriously. Don't don't wa don't take no damn showers. The whole fucking woman. Don't wash shit. Smelling like fucking funyuns and damn um and ten pounds of fish. I didn't I don't like that, you know? But yet but yet you sitting now talking about people during the whole damn conversation, telling everybody's damn business. Nothing to say from her. She'd probably tell, um, Jesus Christ's business, too, if she could. I mean, when does it end, y'all? When does it end, y'all? Everything will have the fucking gossip. Gossip city. Gossip, gossip, gossip. After a while, I got to the point where I don't even bother anymore. I mean, I speak to her, but then I'm getting to the point where it's like, I'm gonna be, like, speaking to her, like, I'm gonna cut that shit, like, 15 minutes short, y'all. Tops. Because I can't do these little like, fucking lines and shit. She's the neighbor... Neighbor one is the neighbor that, um, when my, when my, uh, daughter was, is, was younger, she, um, she sat, she sat up there and, and told, um, her friend at the time that I used to live in the building that, um, that I had, that my daughter had a, a, a kitten in the bag. My, my daughter at the time was real young. Um, she wanted me to bring the kitten over to my mother's house. She is the one that did that. She is the one that was going to snitch on me. She is the one that was standing over there in front of my fucking door and gossip about me and my kids. And how and how my kids' hair looked and shit like that. She's the one that did that shit. She's always doing something. And I need y'all to tell me in the comments section, leave that ass alone. And I will I will kindly not be bothered. Because I can't keep doing it anymore. This is back and forth shit. You think that some people, as they get older, they would, they would be wiser and not do certain shit? Or admit that they did it and now they sorry and let's move on? Not her. She said she does nothing wrong. She's the sweetest person that she calls herself. Sweet people don't do that. Kind people don't, don't lie on people. Kind people don't snitch on people. There's nothing kind about that. You're not kind. You want to say you're kind, but in reality, in, virtu in all reality, no, you're, you're not kind. There's nothing kind about you. You pretend to be kind, but you're not kind. 
I'm gonna do the race, y'all. Let's show y'all my beignets, y'all. I ate one of them. Why do these... Why do these shits taste like damn Dawn liquid? <laughs> <laughs> why? Please answer me. Why does it taste like Dawn liquid? What is wrong with this picture, y'all? They put coconut in there. The ones from Louisiana, they bigger. They doing too much. Maybe that's what it is, y'all. Look, y'all. Oh, I had some tea also yesterday. Some tea, a fried egg, and an onion. That's what he gave me for breakfast. And some dates. And he gave me some water also the day before that. See? This is how the beignets look. Y'all see it? Oh, I didn't quite. Oh, what? Oh. Alright. Um. Yeah, but. Um. Y'all know what to do. Comment and subscribe. Okay? Share this video, okay? Please start giving me more views, y'all. The views will get my content out faster and quicker, and I want y'all to be able to look at it, okay? All right, y'all. Until next time. Bye!